as we can see it's a little after three on October the 3rd so I'm literally wiped out I've been living in survival mode for over five decades. So I'm not lazy, but motivation can be a struggle. We hear the phone calls, we hear the service. What happens is you because you know you're not going to get anywhere. You know, it can result in procrastination. And it can be difficult to get work done. Because the truth is that I have a limited amount of energy. And all the energy that I have is being used to maintain basic functions. So it's hard. You know, it's difficult. to do anything else. These um, toxic tears refuse to respect my boundaries. I'm literally dealing with uh, toxic, sociopathic, sadistic snakes. I have to be very careful. And I have to put myself first. That in the truth that I know and the truth that I speak has to be first and foremost. So here's what's been happening lately. So as we can see, this was from about a week ago. And um, there's a constant problem with these um, uh, these persons who are acting in these fictional roles of public servants, a constant problem. These are those that keep me penniless and destitute and homeless. And so these are those who are guilty of aiding and abetting. That's a crime in the Criminal Code of Canada. Because everything that they post, and I mean everything that they post, is nothing but profane, poisonous propaganda. Look at this, like, this is from four years ago, when, while well, an act of fraud on the court is taking place to, to steal a private estate. And everything from that private estate is being stolen, and these, this is what they're talking about. And yet the Chief Justice of BC and David Eby and Richard Fife and some other clowns have all received register mail packages that this is going on and they do not care. So hey, this is what's happening to women. We're being robbed of our homes and cars. We're forced into homelessness, forced into just, well, that's unspeakable in my culture, to be forced to do something like that. Like, it's unspeakable. It destroys everybody in the community, that type of behavior. For those who lack understanding, who might be listening to me. And there's, there, is no, there is no access to service or justice. This is why I call and let you listen to the calls and then upload them. So you can listen to the constant spin. Of all, no, we, we don't do that here. No, you need to call someone else. Yeah, it's just the constant circle jerk. Well, that's what's happening, right? They're just, they're wiping out the middle class. So this is a trust right here. That's what this is. This is my spouse speaking to me. This is an implied trust. He also purchased an express trust, which keeps our estate private. It keeps it out of the public. No probate to be filed. Uh, no third-party tort feasters can get involved and steal everything. And yet, that's exactly what they did. I can't read that.
yeah, I'm in an indescribable amount of pain. I'm not dead. I'm not one of the dead. I'm an empath. I'm a sensitive. So you have to understand that we wear our hearts on our sleeve. And hey, we don't play poker. Because everything is written on our face. Everything. This is an honorable man who I shared time with for over 20 years. I never saw him hurt anybody. I never saw him steal anything from anybody. I saw him go to work every morning for decades. I worked for the same company for close to 50 years. My car is yours. Time to retire the Mazda. Well, the Mazda is completely fucking destroyed, as we all saw. My right to independence, my right to security and safety, fucking completely fucking destroyed by these sociopathic, sadistic fucking savages who are pretending to be the mindless mob district of Saanich. Well, watch out. If you have a a property that has no mortgage on it, they're going to come and steal it from you. And they will figure out how to steal it from you. And know what's going to help you. And that's who stole from me. That's who started it all. Oh, it has a name. And it has an address. So two fraudulent mortgages on my private estate. Two fraudulent mortgages. Let me tell you something about a mortgage. When a person goes to get a mortgage, the second that they sign that mortgage document, the mortgage is fully paid out. Fully paid. It's paid in full. And then that person starts making payments. Banking is foundational witchcraft, all of it. Go take a look at how much profit they post every year. Oh, and year end. Hey, listen, it's October, the season of the witch. Year end for CIBC is October 31st. Coincidental? No, no. No, there is no such thing as coincidence. Update on conspiracy to intentionally cause targeted hated woman whistleblower to fear for her life, welfare, and safety. And here we're taking some folks. So, yeah, that little uh, cursed creature case that they started, you don't have any authority, you don't have any jurisdiction. To fucking lay false charges? Are you... Listen, here's the fucking thing about the children of the devil, right? Satan's sired spawn. Like, they, they can't think it through. Right? The toxic, it, it, they're incapable of thinking it all the way through. Right? Because these, these beasts of Babylon, they're filled with their own thoughts. And their own thoughts are just toxic. So they just continually spin on toxic. That's who I'm dealing with. And they all got names, don't you? I know who you are. And you the fuck know who you are, don't you? You did it to yourself. You will reap what you have sown. So no, I'm afraid I won't be. Listen, I tell you what the fuck is going on, okay? The truth teller is the authority on the earth. Not the wicked, warped, worthless of the world. You don't have any authority or jurisdiction in my life. So that's the court file number there. Yeah, can you see it there? So they began a vexatious, scandalous, without merit, frivolous claim against me to incite hatred. And they, they're doing it willfully and knowingly. They, this is criminal mind. And then, of course, they do the criminal act. So that's proof beyond reasonable doubt. You need, you need criminal mind and a criminal act. Well, that's what they did. So you're not fucking telling me anything. I, listen, I have the right to freedom of association. I don't associate with arrogant and moral abominations. And they're adversarial ugliness. You're just fucking, you're disgusting. Oh, and here's one of the beasts here who's guilty of def- uh, criminal harassment. And assault with a deadly weapon, and kidnapping, and unlawful confinement. Eh? Monster Murray. 
the mindless monster maggot Murray. Yeah. Don't contact you again? Well, you don't listen. You're the fucking puke who continually contacts me in acts of criminal harassment. Your career is over. Your career is over. And there's no male and female mindless monkey acting as the District of Sanit or any of these profane public services that's going to let you keep your job. No, you got to go. You need to go live decades of your life in a cage because that's where you belong. You are fucking toxic. Definition of criminal victimization. Well, they've done it all to me. And it's the profane, pathetic, poisonous pukes who are pretending to be policy enforcement here in Canada who have done all this shit to me. Well, they are involved in all of the acts of fraud on the court that have left me childless, left me homeless, left me penniless. Now I've got no ride, I've got no wheels. Intentional endangerment, that's what they're up to. Okay, let's see here. Oh, there's the call to report the hate crime that I made last week. So here's what's been going on. September the 28th, uh, there was criminal harassment at 8.48 a.m. There was two calls. September the 29th at 8.11 a.m., there was one call. October the 2nd at 150, 151, 152, and 154 a.m. That's 2 o'clock in the morning. I am being fucking criminally harassed by the basement beasts of Babylon. So, here's the two. Well, there's a a head hog and a top dog here. You can see their names right there. They're both male monkeys. They're both criminals. Criminal-minded, criminal-acted, sadistic sociopaths. That's who I'm dealing with. So I'm commanding you two monkeys to cease and desist your harassment. I am the woman of a persecuted identifiable group of official guests, non-resident foreigners, evildoer employees of Rico District of Saanich, hate and are knowingly, intentionally, willfully promoting hatred against by filing false charges, making false accusations in your racially motivated hate crime to end my life. Your irreproachable beast behavior is unlawful, harmful, malicious, and illegal. Law and legal have nothing to do with each other, by the way. You both are willfully causing physical, psychological, spiritual, and financial harm, loss, and injury by your constant hate crimes of breach of trust, defamatory libel, criminal harassment, gang stalking, uttering threats, intimidation, disturbing the peace, mischief, robbery, extortion, theft, kidnapping, unlawful confinement, torture, assault with deadly weapons, conspiracy to commit murder. Stop calling. Stop all the contact. Cease and desist. You too. In your wickedness, your racially motivated hate and violence against myself and the Honorable House of Daly. Well, I'm the woman who's going to be making testimony about who that man is because I'm the woman who spent over 20 years sharing time with that man. So I would be the one to know. And I don't give false testimony against my neighbor. If you're a piece of shit... I'll let you know that you're a piece of shit. If you're one of Satan's sired spawn, I'm the woman who can let you know who you are because I know exactly who you are. I have eyes that see and ears that hear. And you are who? Who the fuck are you? You fucking all smell the same. You all look the same. You all sound the same. Here's... Well, here's the word of truth, right? This is my native language. Kind words from a wicked mind are like a shiny coat on a clay pot. Those who hate you may try to fool you with their words, but their minds, but in their minds they're planning evil. Yep, the mindless monkey's words may be kind, but don't believe them because their minds are full of evil thoughts. Lies can hide hate, but the evil will be plain to everyone. Now, this is exactly why I keep explaining to the listener, to my listener, if you're listening to me 
We're now sharing time. You're now here with me in my house if you hit that play button. All of that garbage, all of those pamphlets, all of those fucking websites that these federal, provincial, and municipal maggots have up, it's all fucking lies, all of it. Because the actions that they have taken towards me and my family prove to every single one of you not only who they are, but what they are. Yes, I have proof. That's my job, to collect proof. I'm a witness, either for the motherfucker or against the motherfucker. So here's the problem with these um, Babylonian beasts. Well, because they never read the word of life, which is exactly why Jesus would be saying, man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of the spirit of truth, of the king of kings, of the lawgiver, the judge. This is exactly why my brother would say something like that. If they are not partaking in the living word, they are not going to be able to be culturally sensitive to my people because they're just not going to fucking get it which is why they fucking spin, right? Like a fucking snake. Listen, snakes have no standing because a snake can't stand. Did you hear that, Daniel Carroll? Graham Mack? Dean Murdoch? Dean Duffy? Del Manick? David Eby? Mike Farnworth? Nikki Sharma? Laura Wheeler? Mike Walsh? Nick Murray, did you hear that, you fucking snakes? A snake has no standing because a snake can't stand. You've made the biggest mistake of your fucking lives by including yourselves in my life and in my private estate and in my spouse's life and in my son's life. So the definition of cultural sensitivity is having an understanding of a group of men and women's knowledge, truth, and values that's attributed to the peculiar people's ethnic and racial background. Right. In addition, these savages must be agreeable to modify their beast, Babylonian bullshit behavior to accommodate my people. That's why you get paid. It's important because it improves the health and wellness of minorities. Well, we would be a minority. We're about 3% of the population. We're the living ones. We're the salt and the light here. Yeah, listen, I've been here a long time. I know who I am by now. I've had 15 years of training on who I am. 15 years. September 6, 2009, that's when my training and testing started. That's 15 years ago. Here are some examples of cultural sensitivity. Oh, what are some examples? All right, so it's important in fostering a cohesive, peaceful society. Okay, so uh, these liars who are called the BARF, their system is sociopathic. It's an adversarial system. They are, they are, they make up an adversarial society, a sick, sadistic sociopathic society that's what barf members are and politicians are barf members so they have no fucking clue how to foster a cohesive and peaceful society and now these motherfuckers are backed up by these armed and dangerous um black top hat black fucking outfitted witches who are pretending to be peace officers who are not peace officers at all no now, there are your murderers, thieves, and destroyers in your community, by the way, for those of you who lack understanding, wisdom, and knowledge. That's who they are. Examples of cultural sensitivity include asking a woman how they'd like to be addressed, respecting their cultural health practices, and promoting multilingual signage. Right, so in my culture, we don't go around robbing widows of their homes. We don't go around wa- robbing righteous women of their, their children. We don't go fucking around giving false testimony against our neighbor in my culture. No, we don't do that. In my culture, we don't fucking gang up. We don't mob a righteous woman when she's doing her job 
and then completely fucking destroyed her private property. We, we wouldn't be acting like that in my culture. Oh, sorry. Look at this. See, this is exactly what I was just talking about. Look at this garbage that they fucking have up on their websites. This absolute bullshit. Chopping and quality and inclusion and public theft. What the fuck are they wearing? But you notice how they don't have body cams on? No, they don't have body cams on because that would prove exactly who they are and exactly what they are and what they really do. You want to know who the fuck is dangerous in your community? You see any of those hanging around. That's who's a danger to you and your family in your community. Oh, the British Columbia Law Enforcement Diversity Network. Well, who the fuck are you? What's your names and where do you live? Oh, they're made up of public safety agencies committed. Equity, inclusion, and belonging. Okay, well, we're the peculiar people, so we don't ever belong here to this world. No, we can't. We, we, we can't. We're not from here. This is why we're, we're commanded not to be friends with this world. This is why we're commanded to come out of her. Because this fucking place is a body. It's, it's the Babylonian body. That's what the world is. Any of you read scripture at all? Hey, listen, I'm not, a, I'm not a religious woman. We don't have anything to do with fucking reprobate religion. I'm a righteous woman. It's a provincial network. We discuss principles and practices of authentic community engagement, shirk programming models and training resources all towards the goal of promoting community trust and safety. Well, holy fuck. Well, good luck with that. Because how you treat my peculiar people is exactly who you really are. Promoting community trust and safety? Not one of you should be trusted because you're not trustworthy. Not one of you has a fucking clue how to keep a community safe. You're the fucking problem. Why are you armed? Why are you armed? What's the reason for that? Because actual peace officers aren't armed. No, I'm sorry. They're not. Fucking joke. Oh, here we go. Utter, utterly incompetent threat to public safety. Yeah, who attack women victims of hate crimes. So, right, so I went through with Laura Wheeler what it had to do. So the stupidest thing you fucking savages did was actually publish your fucking lies. Once you published your lies, you had fucking committed the act of a hate crime. You didn't think it through, did you? Oh, but wait a minute. You're a cult. You're a satanic cult. So you all back each other up. I say my first rodeo. So that's what they're guilty of. They're guilty of criminal harassment. I have been followed for years. After my home, after my private estate was stolen from me, I have been attacked at least a dozen times by the armed and the dangerous. By the male monsters and the female freaks who are being paid to act as policy enforcement, both by Victoria Piggy Department and the Saanich Piggy Department here. They're all involved in all of this. So, stalking. Well, criminal harassment occurs when a woman is followed, watched, communicated with, or subjected to any form of behavior from another person, such as they begin to fear for their safety or for the safety of those known to them. Well, hello. Well, here we go. I did commit? Oh, really? Uh-huh. Did commit. So innocent until proven guilty. So then how, why does it say did commit? It should say may have committed an offense. Not did commit. Did commit? Uh, no. No, 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 no. So this right here, once this is published, and this was published on August the 30th, that's now the criminal act. Uh-huh. Hey, yeah. Well, fuck, I don't know. You got eyes that see? Because I certainly do. 
So what crimes have been committed? Let's take a look here. You know you have the right to freedom of association, right? It's, it's everywhere. It's in all sorts of different... Well, the fucking bullshit that they write that these monkeys write. That you apparently have rights. So here's what they did when they published this. And I'm sitting there and I'm thinking to myself, well, you just fucking go for it. You've done this to me before when you stole my son. The same bullshit went down. You did the same thing to me then. And that time I didn't understand the fucking gruesome goat game, but I fucking understand it now. No, I'm not in my 30s anymore. Now I'm in my 50s and I've done fucking thousands of hours of research on birth members and their fucking maggotry, malicious fucking maggotry. So here, right here, this is the crimes that they, this is section 319, one and two, public incitement and willful promotion of hatred. Those are criminal code offenses. These are hate motivated, bias motivated crimes against me. Now I can't get out of my house car because you have criminal mind to rob me of her. So I can't get out because then I can't fucking come after you because I've consented to your fucking ugliness. So what do you do? Well, we, we all saw what you did. We all saw. We all heard and we all fucking saw what you did. Remember what I told you, snakes? Snakes have no standing because snakes don't stand. You have absolutely no fucking standing to continue on with this fucking hate crime. You realize that you, like, Dean Murdoch and Dean Duffy, you can't literally continue on in your careers. You can't continue on in your careers. You have committed career suicide. You did it to your fucking selves. Because it's the two of you who are behind this. Yeah, that's what you did. Why would you do something like that? That this is, well, you're false witnesses. This is providing false witness against an innocent woman. That's what they've got going on here. You have been charged. Really? Okay, so innocent until proven guilty. Right? Innocent until proven guilty? And so who has made this claim? Name who has made these claims. I need your names. I need your names. Because you would have had to have provided to Laura Wheeler a sworn statement, right? Under the penalty of perjury? That you weren't fucking lying about me and my behavior and my character? Did we think it through? Mm, malicious, mindless monkeys, did we think it through? No, you can't think it through. You don't have that fucking capacity. You don't even... <laughs> Uh, gang stalking criminals. Yeah, they're aiding and betting mortgage fraud again. Now we're into October, so that now means now for September and October, now we have fucking two more months of fucking mortgage fraud taking place. Well, these are the calls that I was just explaining to you. See? I mean... So when I tell you to stop and you don't stop... That's criminal act. Criminal mind and criminal act. Canada, there's a police complaint commission of which I called to explain the outrageous violence that destroyed my automobile. Unfortunately, doing that has resulted in retaliation. Remember Jesus explained that if he was here, there would be those who are here that are also hated? Well, I'm one of the hated. So far, I've lost everything to acts of fraud on the court. First, my son, forced adoption, trafficking in a beautiful child, then my, then, then my interest estate. That's a private estate and the inheritance, exactly like it's prophesied. Well, if, this is the age of information, so it doesn't take you too long to go and look around and find out that these, look at this thing here. It's wearing all black. Why? Why is it wearing all black? Well, I can tell you why. The first rule of war is to know your enemy. So my channel is exposing corrupt cops in Canada. They've become lawless, armed, and dangerous gangs. I was just mobbed, robbed, falsely arrested, had my car completely destroyed by sociopathic swineherd members. This isn't funny because no one should be threatened or harassed like that. I'm in fear for my life, and I'm not joking. 
Well, because like I read thoughts, right? If you know anything about my people, we have that ability to do that. So I'm not the only one that this is happening to. So you know what I mean? Like, the, look what they're doing. So they're pro- they're depriving me my rights under the color of 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 law. That's what they're doing. Under the guise of the color of law, it's a crime for one or more gruesome gargoyles, pigs, person, government to use their their powers, pathetic, profane powers, to either deprive or to conspire to willfully deprive myself and my family of my constitutional rights. Well, they don't follow any of that, do they? Well, like they don't have any jurisdiction. Like criminals don't have jurisdiction. Criminals don't have authority. Yeah. Well, that's what it is, right? It's a crime. Defamatory libel is a crime. Like it's, it's a criminal code of Canada offense. They've done this to me before. Well, there we go. Oh, they have faces and they have names. What's this thing wearing? How come it doesn't have a body cam on? You all need to be outfitted with body cams and you need to have them turned on at all material times. Yeah, that's what you're going to be spending all the money on that you steal from everybody in, in, the, in the city or the township or the district. You're fucking hoarding, what, hundreds of millions of dollars and using it for what? Well, you're going to use those financial resources to fucking put body cams on all of these fucking witches. Yeah. So, in law, the primary and most fundamental principle is consent. Without consent, there is no law. Consent makes the law. A contract is a law between parties which can acquire force only by consent. Only by and with the willing, mutual consent of the parties involved is law established. Canada recognizes the principles of the supremacy of the rule of law, the law of consent. Well, they don't actually. Because I never consented to have my son sold. I never fucking once consented to have my private estate fucking robbed from me. I never consented to be left fucking homeless or penniless. I never fucking consented to have the last item of security I had left robbed from me, completely fucking destroyed. Hey, Dean Duffy, I haven't heard from you. Hey, uh, fucking Dean Murdoch, haven't heard from you either. Why would that be? Why would that be? So, they've got a, look at this, fucking, yeah, this is from the, the, uh, well, they're pretending to be the RCMP, that's who they pretend to be. Dean Duffy acting as Sandwich Police Chief along with an obscene number of its pals are guilty of hate-motivated crimes and incidents against a sovereign woman, her spouse, their private estate, the Honourable House of Daly, and their personal property. Persons acting as British Columbia Ministry of Attorney General are guilty of aiding and abetting provincial public servant hate-motivated crimes against these good people me and my spouse and our home in order to protect dozens of criminals intentionally harming my family. Del Manic will conduct the investigation, lay charges, the criminals jail. Because check out who the hate crime task force are. Check check it out. Oh Victoria Police Department. Oh B C Ministry of Attorney General. Uh huh. So Del Manic was informed in December of twenty nineteen that my private estate was being robbed for me by Daniel Carroll and his filthy fascist fucking friends. And what did he do about it? Well, he did nothing about it. That's why the crime actually was committed. So did that thing contact the RCMP in Kamloops? Of course not. You know who else knew? The evildoer, E.B. there, that at that time was acting in the fictional role of B.C. uh, Ministry, Minister of the Attorney General. Huh. What do you think? 
What do you think about that? They have a hate crime team. So you had a bunch of real estate reprobates involved who made a whole bunch of money utilizing my private estate after Daniel Carroll stole it from me. So this is my house car. I do not operate a vehicle. I do not operate in commerce at any time for any reason. I do not require a driver's license because that would be fraud. I would be committing an act of fraud if I obtained a driver's license. So they had to destroy that from me, my best, one of my best friends. He's always been loyal and reliable and trustworthy. And then my spouse gifted me our other house car. And it got stolen by Daniel Carroll and his friends, acting as the, the, the bailiffs. So, let's see. Oh, look at here. It's an act. It's an act. It's the Civil Rights Protection Act of British Columbia. Racist hater, Johnny Van Camp, Laura Wheeler, and others, like you, Nikki Sharma, acting at, oh, like you, David Eby, acting as BC Attorney General's guilty of prohibited acts against my peculiar people, violating their private pirate lies, Legal Society Civil Rights Protection Act. My peculiar people, official guests, are a class of non-resident foreign sovereign people in need of protection. Well, pretty fucking obviously. Have you seen what they did? Sure you did, because you care, right? You care about what's happening to your neighbor? I certainly fucking hope so, because if you don't, who are you and what are you? You're supposed to love your neighbor like you love yourself. If you know something fucking horrible is happening to somebody, you better stand up and say something. Or you become part of the fucking problem and part of the solution. We, a minority, are hated by BC public servants. Dean Murdoch, Dean Duthie, Del Manic, David Eby, Daniel Carroll, Laura Wheeler, and oh, there's just so many others to name. Guilty of willful promotion and public incitement of hate by publishing lies, by fraud on the court, malicious prosecutions, and every fucking petition and every claim that they've made. You read this garbage that they fucking... Like, who the... F Listen, these are absolute, like, just... You read this shit. That legal. Fucking legal, just fucking garbage. They owned their cars for years. Now Ontario police say they're stolen property. Oh, well, Jesus Christ, no shit, eh? This is from the end of September 2024. Ontario provincial police have seized dozens of classic cars across the province they say, were stolen. Hmm, let's see here. So somebody here from the CBC has investigated what's going on and uncovers a tangled crime case and a trail of devastated owners. Well, I'm the devastated owner of a private estate in Saanich. Five years now, homeless and destitute, not a penny. Oh, that's what I'm saying right here, right? I'm an owner. I'm a woman owner since January 2003 of a private estate in Sanit stolen by Daniel Carroll, David E.B. Del Manic, my 2006 Ford Focus house car stolen March 19th, 2020 by B.C. government thieves who sold my private property and then they kept all the money. Because you know when you're a witch, there's never enough money. The worthless, the warped of the world. Just uh, born in vain. The vile. Dozens of cars seized. Oh, look at this. Isn't that interesting? Gee, so it looks like there's a real problem with corruption here happening across Canada. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's what I'm trying to show you. I'm paying attention, are you? It's my job to pay attention. I'm a witness to the wickedness of my generation. I have to pay attention. As exhausted as I am. Fraud on the court, December 2018. Sorry, November 2018, Daniel Carolyn Gray, Mac of Camelot, BC, solicitors, snakes, basically, that's what solicitor actually means. It means sorcerer. A solicitor is a sorcerer. 
for Rico Bank, CIBC illegally transfer land title of interest, private estate, a widow security. There's my address. Committing crimes of forging documents, fraud and theft over 5,000. The stolen land is being illegally utilized by frauds and criminals. You can see their names there. Uh, who refused to return the stolen property to the true owner as counseled by criminals and co-conspirators, Dean Duffy and Dean Murdoch, acting as District of Saanich. Daniel Carroll stole the 2006 Ford Focus belonging to the owner of this private estate, just like criminals uh, Bradshaw and LeBlanc. Oh, and it's a, there was a LeBlanc included in the, uh, the theft of my private estate. Come on now, why do you think I, I link all the documents in the description box of the uploads? Do you go in and read them? You don't think I know what I'm talking about? Oh, I'm the woman who knows what I'm talking about. I wouldn't waste your time. Like that. If you listen to me, I have enough respect for you not to waste your time like that. Yeah, I'm quite aware of how to love my neighbor like I love myself. So that's what's going on. Can you imagine this is happening all across Canada? It got way worse in 2020. And so this is what this is what I'm talking about. So the peculiar people don't sue, as we know exactly who owes us how much and why. We are a hated, targeted people who issue lawful invoices for loss, harm, and injury caused by, well, there they are. So uh, suing is for slaves. Slaves sue. Sovereigns don't sue. No, because we're required to follow the living law, and my father has provided remedy for us in the living law. So years ago, I told them that I am not an artificial person. I'm not a Canadian citizen. I'm not a taxpayer. I'm not a fucking, I'm not a resident. I'm not any of that fucking garbage that they try to label living men and women with. So I explained to them, if you pull that fucking shit on me again, this is what you're going to be paying. So that's what this invoice is about. That's what this invoice is about, and I've got law maxims here. Let the doer beware. A warning to the person taking action or initiating a legal process to be cautious and aware of the consequences or potential risks involved. Right, to a willing woman, no injury is done. So that implies if a woman willingly exposes themselves to a known risk or danger, they cannot claim compensation or relief for any resulting harm and injury. That's why I can't get out of my, of my car. That's why I can't get out of my house car. I can't get out. You're going to fucking rob me. You came there with the intent to rob me. You came there with the fucking intent to assault me with deadly weapons. You came there with the fucking intent. It was intentional. That you were going to fucking torture me. For close to 24 hours. You got away with 21 hours. And then you think, I'm going to pay for the towing costs? Well, that wouldn't be my responsibility to pay it, would it? So what is necessary is lawful. Well, it's necessary for you to pay your fucking bills. Dean Murdoch. Well, you're the head hog. You're the fucking top dog. Hmm? All arrogant. All arrogant, a moral abomination. You identify yourself as a politician. That's a problem. Well, there's the fee schedule. So you were already informed of the contract that if you tried to enter me into a contract without my consent, these are the terms and conditions. You agreed to the terms and conditions of the contract by being there on August the 29th when I was there to take back my stolen property. Maxims of law, learn them and know them. It is a rule of law that an error not resisted is approved. No one is bound to expose themselves to danger. Where there is a right, there is a remedy. Ignorance of the law excuses no one. Those who derive a benefit from a thing ought to feel the disadvantages attending it. Those who have committed iniquity shall not have equity. Okay, so iniquity is completely ignoring the living law. 
common law is the living law that applies to everyone. Don't care who the fuck you are. Don't, don't care. Don't care who you think you are. That living law applies to both righteous and wicked. A man's home is his castle, and each man's home is their safest refuge. Let's, let's talk a little bit about the difference between legal and lawful here, because there seems to be a real... Um, well, most, most are uh, just completely fucking ignorant, right? You know, no one should be held in servitude. These are all um, international covenant on civil and political rights. These are supposed to be... Well, you see, what's happening is that uh, my private estate, without my consent, is being utilized for usury, deceit, and fraud. And I keep telling them that, that I can't be a part of what you're doing. Like, you're forcing me to be as ugly as you are, and that just ain't going to go down. Because I'm not having it. You, you need, well, you stop and seek professional help, but th there truly is no help that you could actually seek that would fix you. You're born that way. Okay, let me see here. <laughs> Section 8 of the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms protects privacy from unreasonable searches and seizures. Bullshit it does. Oh, he who acts through another acts himself. So when Daniel Carroll was ordering all these fucking uh, immoral abominations around to steal my private estate from me, not only did they ate in a bed, but that's Daniel Carroll doing all of that. Yeah. Yeah, Daniel Carroll is a sorcerer. A snake. No standing. You got no standing to fucking include yourself in my private life. In my private estate. But you got it all. Can you fucking sue? Can you sue the pigs for emotional distress? Again, only slaves sue. Only a slave is stupid enough to sue. Because you're never going to go into one of these private pirate pathetic puke alleged public service fucking buildings and get justice that beast on the bench doesn't have a fucking clue what justice is there are they're all partial and they're all biased to the criminal that's why it's called the criminal justice system it's only justice for the criminal Okay, person. Let's talk about person for a second, right? A person is a legal entity. It's a trust, a corporation, a partnership. It's an association. And never be fooled by a liar's statutory word trickery if you see natural person. An, ad an adjective cannot change the root meaning of a word. Red apple, green apple, it's still an apple. Plain and simple, it's impossible to be a person. You are either a man or a woman. So what are you? A person is a dead entity. And attorneys, sorry, solicitors, <laughs> sorcerers, witches, they're sibyls, may only represent persons, commercial legal entities. Well, commerce is mammon, and you can't serve two masters, so you have to make a choice. You either serve life or death. There's only two choices to make. And the world of commerce is the world of the dead and everything of death because it's never about kindness. It's always about force and fraud and trickery. That's exactly what it's about. Yeah. Are you with me so far? So CIBC has determined itself to be a natural person. The Liar Society of British Columbia has determined itself to be a natural person. The private estate, the trust, the trust that my spouse created is determined to be a natural person. Yes. That natural person holds the property of the estate. 
excuse me, just bear with me for one second here. I'm just going through some... Well, we're the teachers here, aren't we, right? We get taught and then we do the teaching. Listen, I was a student before I was a teacher. I told you I've had 15 years of training. 15 years of training. I've been isolated for a long time. Not because there's something wrong with me, because this is how my father trains his people. So you get that, right? The BARF members. Those are Babylonian beasts. They only have jurisdiction. They only have standing over dead legal fiction, capital citizen slave name persons. That's why. Go look at your bills, your birth certificate, your driver's license, <clears throat> your name written in all capital letters because you're deemed legally to be dead. <clears throat> the dead can't see, the dead can't hear, the dead can't speak. That's why they require you to hire a liar. Yeah, because you're dead to those bench or barf members. They don't want to hear what you have to say. Are you kidding me? Then their little fucking house of cursed cards will come tumbling down around them. They can't have that. Now a witch has to maintain control at all material times. Don't you know anything about witches? I do. I'm an expert on them. Again, I'm so sorry about this. Just bear with me here for a second. Okay, let me do it like this. Move quicker. Okay. So you get that, right? The only purpose for a BARF member in your life is to join the living man or woman to the legal fiction, thus granting the whorehouse, the house of horrors, jurisdictional authority over the person. That's a mask. You've been masked up as one of the dead. Oh, this is hilarious. You get, this is from the Provincial Court of BC propaganda website. You're going to love this. Get a load of this. Without the rule of law, you could be in prison without reason. Well, fuck, that just happened to me. Uh, without the rule of law, the government? Yeah, no such thing. There is no such thing as government. What the fuck is going on down here? Could seize your property or remove your children arbitrarily? Oh, well, holy fuck, that happened to me too. Where is my son? Where's my son? Oh, you won't tell me where he is? Yeah, I know. I see that. Without the rule of law, a wealthy savage could escape the consequences of intentionally injuring someone for no reason. Uh-huh. Okay. Well. Listen. Principal is responsible for acts of agent. So the CEO of CIBC is guilty of attempted murder. Oh, it gets worse. Just listen to these assholes. The rule of law matters because it seeks to treat all persons fairly and equally. Well, we just went over what a person is, didn't we? So this is exactly what I'm talking about. This is sorcery. It's fucking snakery. Canadian courts strive to protect individual rights by enforcing the rule of law? You fucking don't. The requirement that our courts follow the rule of law remains a fundamental principle of Canada's democracy. Oh, yeah, no. Again, right, this is exactly why this is all written down in Proverbs. We run over that before, and I, I read to you out what in Proverbs, right? Don't believe any of that. It's fucking bullshit. So here I'm looking at something from a, a YouTube channel called Esoteric Knowledge. And the question is asked, did you know attorneys are legalese players of the dead? Did you know that? Well, now you do. Now you know. That's on my community page on my YouTube channel if you want to go see it, by the way. If you want to go watch it. One second here. Well, to leave me without wheels is intentional endangerment, isn't it? Right, the United Nations Human Rights, Article 5, A, B, C. I mean, I'm not a human though. No, no, 
humans humans are not people oh well, I'll teach you about that one day when I'm fucking exhausted okay so here's article 6 of the, of the United Nations Human Rights International Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Racial Discrimination State parties shall ensure to everyone within their jurisdiction effective protection and remedies through the competent national tribunals and other state institutions against any acts of racial discrimination which violates his human rights. Well, a human is legally defined as a monster, so now monsters have rights here in this wicked warped world? Well, I've done all that. When my son was kidnapped, I went fucking everywhere. And I got nowhere. Because the fucking filthy fascists, the, you know, their fruit is toxic, so... What are you going to do with that? They're all on the same fucking team. They're all of one mind. I filed notice of civil claim before they actually stole my private estate. Yeah, no, not only am I not receiving remedy or relief, I'm paying the fucking cursed creature cabal after. So I ended up paying, well, I'm supposed to pay another 500 after the 300 I already paid to even file the bullshit. with the bullshitters. Oh yeah, go go in, go in and read up the uh, fucking incorporation. Oh, it's incorporation. Oh, it's an organization. Uh, the Liar Society of BC, I'm reading it to you right here. The Liar Society of British Columbia is continued. Is that right? Well, who decided that? For the purposes of this act, the society has all the powers and capacity of a natural person. Oh, okay. Like, are you picking up on what I'm laying down? Are you, are you with me here? Benchers. Oh, this gets fucking better. Oh, object and duty of the society. To uphold and protect the public interest in the administration of justice? Mm, yeah, no. No, I'm sorry. You ain't fooling me. Ventures. The following are ventures. The Attorney General. Persons appointed under Section 5. Lawyers elected under Section 7. Ventures govern and administer the affairs of the society and may take action they consider necessary for the promotion, protection, interest, or welfare of the society. They have nothing to do with serving the public. They are private for profit fucking profane pirates. I just read it to you. I just read it to you. They're about themselves and themselves only. Fuck. Well, if you're not fucking outraged by now, I, I, you need to go fucking check if you're alive. Because I am alive. I belong to the living one. Contract is law. Law is contract only. No contract, no law. No jurisdiction. Offer and acceptance. I was offered to be fucking robbed. And I'm like, yeah, no, no contract. But they proceeded anyway. You know, because there's an active agenda to murder me. And yeah, no, I don't... Living people don't consent to be governed by fucking gruesome fucking goons. Gargoyles. Are you fucking... Are you joking? Fuck off. And seriously, right? Do you understand this? That when you go into one of these private fucking pirate, pathetic, profane, fucking public service buildings that are acting as like a provincial law court, you got the bencher who works for the province, the prosecutor works for the province, and the piggies work for the province. So right there is a conflict of interest. You got a toxic fucking triangle of tears. Listen, I've, I've been doing this a long, long time. Long time. Okay, let's go over legal versus lawful. Okay, so law is living. Law is common sense. So lawful is common law. Law of tradition. Set by precedent and established truth. The law that is common to everyone can only be determined after due process of law deals in truth it's just it's it's english like it's not fucking barf member spew 
They got their own language, those witches. No crime without an injured person. No crime without an injured man or woman. Treats you as living. It's, it's, it's broken when harm is caused to a man or woman. Has the full force effect of law. It seeks justice. That's what lawful is. That's what common law is. That's what my people are all about. That's what my father is all about. My father's all about making sure the victim is made whole and holding, well, the trespasser to account so that they never do that again. You see, living law is all about changing the behavior of the fucking base beast who has now went and caused harm, loss, or injury to their neighbor. That, that's what the living law is all about. Legal. Oh, fuck, here we go. Acts of fucking parliament. Well, listen, Parliament is just a fucking cabal of poisonous, profane parasites. Witches, man, seek control. Set by corrupt politicians, often bribed by lobbyists. Oh, good. So now we've got fucking conspiracy happening here. Statutory obligations. Forced compliance is unlawful. Unenforceable without consent. Deals in fiction. Corporations, legal entities, statutes, codes, policies. Language is legally, sounds like English, but has different meanings. To break legislation is an infraction of a policy. Treat you as a corporate person. Well, again, right? If you're a thing, you have no eyes, you have no ears, you have no heart, you have no soul. You're a thing, you're dead to them. That's why they just fucking roll over you. Broken when the rules are not adhered to. Essentially, a breach of contract has no force of law without consent. Seeks profit and control. Oh, it seeks profit. Really? So it's all about the money? If it's seeking control, then there's foundational witchcraft. Because I belong to a defile group of people that don't go around seeking to control our neighbors. And we certainly aren't about fucking profit. No, that's just too fucking sick for us. We We can't live in that world. That's why we're not friends with this world. That's why this world hates us. So illegal... A breach of a rule written by corrupt politicians in a foreign language, a.k.a. legalese, that apply only to consenting members of their sick, sociopathic, sadistic, secret society. Unlawful. An action that violates the rights of men and women, causing harm, loss, injury. It's by fraud. That's what they're doing. With 7 million statutes, acts, codes, and policies written in legalese, how can... You or I be expected to know, understand, and obey each and every one. Well, we can't. Which means that these rules are used for control and profit and can in no way be claimed to be anything remotely related to justice. So there is no justice here. I mean, I know what justice is. It's eye for eye, tooth for tooth. That's what justice really is. That's what living justice is. So sure, I could make a bunch of fucking phone calls, but we've already listened to the phone calls I've made, and where has it gotten me? Here's the other deal. If you need to talk to me, you need to be texting me first to set up an appointment to have a chitty chat. Because I don't have the strength or the energy to field calls from the ignorant and the incompetent. I, I just fucking don't have the energy for that. Listen to me. I'm a woman. There are gates to my soul. Gates to my soul. There's six gates to my soul. I have two eyes. Those are gates to my soul. I have two ears. Those are also gates to my soul. I cannot listen to a liar. It poisons me. It causes me physical harm. I cannot listen to the incompetent, incapable. Because again, it's poisoning my soul. I'm not incompetent, I'm not incapable. I know exactly what to do and I know exactly what the fuck needs to be done. Those fucking trespassers are now going to jail. I tried to keep you out of jail. The two in Victoria here who have had that property for fucking years using it to racketeer. Again, I tried to keep you from going to jail. That's why I tried to creep the whole matter private. 
I wasn't seeking to cause you harm. But you've gone out of your fucking way, out of your fucking greed and your ugliness and your corruption to cause me a level of harm that is unforgivable. So you've identified yourselves. I have nothing to do with how you choose to identify. Justice delayed is justice denied. So I have been denied justice for years. So the law favors justice, not the avoidance of duty. So who's avoiding their duty? Who's, who's avoiding their duty? An act done in violation of due process is void. Well, there I've never had due process, not once when I went into the whorehouse. Justice be done, though the heavens fall. No one is above the law, not even those entrusted with its enforcement. Lawful? Fuck, they're... they're <laughs> oh, the Canadian Charter is the supreme law of the land, and all officers must adhere to it. Well, they don't. They don't and they won't. Because the entire fucking system is set up by the sadistic, by the sociopathic. That's how I deal with all fucking day, every day. And they're one of the reasons why I record the calls is to show you that I'm more than capable of having a competent, intelligent conversation. I'm not the problem here. But every time you call one of these fucking public service agencies, they do not help you. They just fucking push you off into another public service agency. These are fucking shell fucking public service agencies. Like they actually have no fucking function at all other than to employ the monsters, the mindless monsters, to give them something to do. No, those born in vain with no purpose and no hope and no future. It just gives them something to do. But the dead can't serve the living and the wicked can't serve the righteous. The monkey can't serve my people who are real men and real women. Have you ever read in scripture Noah was perfect in his generation? Do you know what that means? That means Noah had RH negative blood, has RH negative blood, just like Moses and Aaron, John the Baptist, Jesus, all RH negative blooded men. That's what that means. Right? We don't have any fucking monkey DNA coursing through our veins. That's why we have minds that actually function properly. That's why we have eyes that see and ears that hear. That's why we know who the motherfucker is. Because we can actually smell them. Oh yeah, Satan's sired spawn, they have a certain smell. Oh fucking yes, they do. You seen the size of my nose? My father gave me that nose. Helps me sniff them out. Sniff out the sociopaths, the sadists who seek my life. Well, did you murder my son? What did you do with him? Where is he? Who buys an eight-year-old? Oh, you don't want to tell me. Oh, you don't want to, you don't want me to investigate what you're doing while you're still doing it. You just had some fucking bullshit running around here on September the 30th. Day of truth and reconciliation. Are you fucking joking? Just keep on that fucking spin. That sadistic spin. The snake spin. Have you ever seen the banner? This is my account, by the way. You were born on witchcraft planet. You think that's a joke? It isn't. That's why you can't be friends with this world. Or you shouldn't be. There's no love here. There's no truth here. There really isn't. Take a look around. It's getting worse every day. Every day we move closer to the days of Noah. Or these toxic terrors, their fucking thoughts are just continuously bent on doing and being evil. It's not a joke. My job is to get you excited about reading the word, about reading scripture, because everybody has their name and their life written in scripture. Scripture is what happened yesterday, today, and tomorrow. It's got nothing to do with religion. My people's lives are written down as lessons, as life lessons on what to do and what not to do. And they're also written down to show you what we go through when we're here. Jesus wasn't joking that there's going to be people here. No matter where they go, no matter where they're placed, they are going to be hated and persecuted and jailed and fucking robbed, raped. I've experienced it all. 
all of it. I've got nothing left, literally nothing. 